Shalom family. So we're going into the month of Elul. I've covered this before. If you go on the channel and you search Elul, you'll find some more information on that. The month of Elul lies right ahead of us. Now that is from 16th of August to the 14th of September on the Jewish calendar. It is the month of repentance before they reach Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and so, so to say come to stand in front of the Almighty God. And just present themselves. Repentance. Cleansing. Turning to God. Putting off our sinful ways. Big theme for the month of Elul. And definitely something we can do. It is also the month known as the time when the king is in the field. The creator is walking in the field. He's running his hands through the harvest. He's looking and he's moving through the field. If the king is in the field... We should be running into the field and searching for the king and looking for him and seeking him and drawing near to him. He is in the field. He's literally that close. The king is in the field. It is a time of the bride to start thinking about that as well. If the king is in the field, that shofar could blow at any time and the bride could be taken. And in Jewish culture and tradition, it is a time when they connect the words, Ani Lododi Vododi Li, I am my beloved's. And my beloved is mine because he's there. He's right there within reach. And that whole theme of love and wedding comes into play. I am my beloved and my beloved is mine. And that yearning for that groom is evident. And we are yearning, yearning as the bride of Christ for the groom to finally come and collect us. Then there's an amazing thing. <clears throat> if you take the word Elul. And you break it down into the Hebrew. It's an Aleph, a Lamet, a Vaf, and a Lamet. Now the Vaf, representing the nail, also represents connection. The Aleph always represents God. And the Lamet, in Jewish thought, connects the heart. Lef is heart. The heart and the heart connected with the nail. So Jesus, with his sacrifice, Connecting our hearts, the bride, with God's heart together, nailed together in relationship and covenant. How beautiful is that just in Elul. And the Lamet also represents a shepherd's staff because he is shepherding us and he's walking and he's gathering his sheep and preparing to take them to a better place very, very shortly. There's so much meaning in it. And they read Psalm 27, twice a day for the entire month of Elul. Now do yourself a favor and go and read it. I'm not saying you have to read it twice a day. Go and read it through the lens of Jesus Christ and with the Holy Spirit with you and your eyes will pop. I'm just going to read you verse 13 and 14. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart. Wait I say on the Lord. We will see the goodness of the Lord. We will see him come and collect us. While we are in the land of the living. He will come and he will fulfill his promise. And wait. We get told to wait. Not once. More than once. And he strengthens our heart. In a time when hearts all around us are failing mankind, us placing our hope and our faith in Jesus Christ, he strengthens the one thing that is failing everybody else. How amazing is that for a time such as this, as we sit and contemplate and wait on the Lord to come and deliver his bride away, for we are not destined for wrath. That's beautiful. It's all there right in front of us all the time. And then the last thing that the Jews tend to do in the month of Elul, which I'll end with just because it's so precious, is they make a point to go and visit cemeteries and go and see the graves. And for me, it speaks of very soon empty graves. All those beloved that have fallen asleep in Christ Jesus, those graves will all be empty as those bodies get taken up to be joined with them as that final ingredient to their glorious bodies at the trumpet's sound. The dead will rise first. 
Maybe when the Jews go to the graveyard and go and see the cemetery graves, they will find many empty and open and lacking because those people have been taken. Because us, the faithful, the seekers, the ones longing in love to be collected, have waited faithfully and God has come and snatched us in the twinkling of an eye. Keep watching, keep being excited, keep seeking that blessed hope and keep running your race. Pray for each other, support each other and never give up. The darker it is, the brighter our light can shine. And God has got you. Shalom.